in this example, ladies and gentlemen, what they basically ask is divide f of x divided by g of x, if you guys can see in the problem. And then they tell us what is f of x and what is g of x. So basically, when we're dividing, all you're simply doing is taking one function divided by the second function. All right? So that's what simply, you know, when it tells us to divide those two functions. So you put one function above the other function. And now we have to simplify. Now, if you guys remember, we talked about when we're simplifying using um, these, we want to use the rules of exponents. Where you guys remember when you multiply, um, you add powers, right? When you divide, uh, you subtract the powers. When you have a power raised to another power, you multiply them. And there's also um, the negative exponents, which we'll talk, or negative powers we'll talk about here in a second. But one of the main important ones we also talked about was whenever you have an exponent raised to the zero power, it always equaled the number one. one. Always equaled one. one. It does not matter what the number is. Whenever I have a, an exponent where the power is zero, it's going to equal one. So in this case, you guys can see, I have an exponent here. This is a crazy base, right? But it's raised to the zero power. Go and rock over that way. So therefore, what you guys can see is this just goes to 1. Therefore, it's x squared over y to the negative fifth. Now, to further simplify this, remember we cannot have negative exponents. What we talked about was x to the negative m equals 1 over x to the m. So if I have 1 over x to the negative m, to write this as positive, I'd write it up in the numerator. So therefore, y to the negative fifth, to write this as the positive, is going to be y to the fifth over x squared. And that would be your final answer. Please stop.